Hey guys, welcome back to another video, or in this case, a comic book discussion. I am Dazzling Cape, for those who are new here, and today we are going to be talking about Superman, Son of Kal-El. It was a recent issue, can't remember which one it was, but basically Clark is told by John that he's bi, and everyone's just like... Got mixed feelings about it, is all I'm gonna say. But I've noticed a trend of different people. It was it was kind of funny because I was just like, wow. I wasn't told about this until like one of my friends brought this up to me, and we were talking about it. And basically, some people think Clark should have rejected John for being by, and it's like, how would you do that? How would you do that to someone who's most likely the most supportive, you know, superhero in the whole universe? So it's like, what the hell? How how do you translate Superman to being rejecting of John for being bi? And considering how many friends and associates that Clark has... With people who are bisexual. It's it's kind of like. Weird that. People were like. Ah he needs to reject John. Because. This reason that reason. And I'm going to be diving into those reasons. In this video. So if you haven't subscribed. Or anything. Like liking the video. Or commenting down below of your own thoughts. Do that right now. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed. Anyways, let's get to the discussion part of the reasons. Now, a lot of people use these reasons for Clark having to be rejectful of John. And one of the reasons is, is that Clark is one of his, the last of his kind from Krypton. The last son of Krypton. And... It's kind of funny because it only applies to John. It only applies to John. Like, let's sit here and talk about that for a minute. It only applies to John, even though there's a few other Kryptonian characters. But it doesn't count for them, guys, because John's actually Clark's son. Blood Ray's son. So he, he has to remember not to be bisexual or gay. Because... That would ruin the bloodline, even though when, you know, when characters and people, like, this is, this, this is just, this is just ridiculous to me when people are like, oh, he's not going to have anything to continue his blood. Like, he needs to marry a girl in order to have a baby. And yes, that's usually how it's done. But considering this is in the comic book world, they can basically do what a they can basically still have a blood race son and still be with a partner of the same sex. So I'm just kind of confused as to how people translate gay, bi characters to having you no know, children, blood related. And it's, it's kind of ridiculous to me. It's kind of ridiculous to me that... It's like, oh, he, he has the responsibility of continuing his race. And it's like, I, I can understand that from a person who has been pushed to only date within the race. Like, it's really weird. My mom and grandma, like, from my mom's side are always pushy about that. And it's like, oh, make sure you find a nice guy of our race, sweetie. Because we need to continue this. It's like... Uh, excuse me, you don't get to tell me who I can and can be attracted to. Okay? Like, it, it's just really weird to me. And it's it feels disrespectful when people are just like, well, he needs to, like, continue the bloodline with pure blood of our... And it's like, uh, Clark is... Clark is married to a human being, and he's Kryptonian, right? Yes, they can produce offspring, but over time, 
that offspring and DNA is just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So even when he does have his own flesh and blood, they wouldn't really be continuing the race. It, it like at one point it's going to be like a small percentage of less than ten percent. So really, maybe I maybe I'm talking like an idiot and I don't know what I'm really saying when it comes to like DNA and shit. I, I'm just basically focused on like over time for many generations it's just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller so what's the point anyways um then you have other characters that are kryptonian but don't really get lectured about not being gay or bi or whatever and they're just like you know they get a they, they don't get mentioned even though it's like what the hell you have Kiara, you have Connor, and they're just like swept under the rug because the responsibility of continuing the race is John's responsibility, which I'm like, why? Why is it his sole responsibility? Tell me, how is it his responsibility? I'm waiting for an answer. Please amuse me. How How is he the only one who has to continue this? nothing nothing okay got it but really it's doesn't make much sense considering if anything clark and lois are still young enough to have another like kid or two so it's like even then it's like why put all this pressure onto john to continue the bloodline it's i i find this really insulting because we're like you don't know what DC's going to plan on doing. Maybe they might bring in another kid or two to be, you know, Clark's kids. Like, you know, old kids from the past that we haven't seen in decades that were featured in, like, you know, Lois Lane, Superman's Girlfriend, or, like, other comics of the sorts. Maybe they might bring it, bring them back and use them. I don't know. It just feels like everyone's putting all this pressure onto John, and it's like, come on, guys. We're really, like, acting like that annoying mill from, like, those stories that I read. Are we really gonna be a mill here? Like, guys, seriously. Seriously. Y you can do better. You can do better. But, <coughs> anyways. Another reason for why Clark should have rejected John, according to those people it's like oh he was raised by christian parents and they would reject him for being gay and it's like guys do you know who clark is do you know his parents do you know that there's you know actual christians who do support lgbt family members and friends it is 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 that just some kind of like, you know, made up fairy tale that there isn't anyone who is religious, but, but respects and still cares and loves their family members or friends who are of the LGBT community. It's like, I, I don't get it. And plus Clark has plenty of associates and friends who are part of the LGBT community so i really don't understand if he just rejected his son like that you know wonder woman's gonna be throwing that man into the fucking sun you know something like, you know there's plenty of people who are associated with him who will kick his ass for even thinking about rejecting his son like that so why would you want him to do that that would be disrespectful to not only his son but to everyone around him so it doesn't really make much sense for him to just reject him because, oh, he's bi, okay. You're, if this was like the 1950s, yeah, I can imagine Clark throwing his son into the sun because he, you know, he liked dudes. Yeah, I get it. But is it really in the 1950s anymore? No. And I get it. A lot of people do not care for his love interest, Jay. But that doesn't really necessarily mean I dislike John for being bi. I just really dislike Jay because he has a lack of a personality, he's annoying, he's cringy, and I really wish they had given him something that would make me care about him. 
But really, his designs, eh. And there was that one design where it looked like he was wearing underwear on his face. Eh. And it, it his design in general to me is just eh. Personally, I'm just like, he's the Lena Lang to John's Clark, okay? He's the first lover, and we'll wait until someone else better comes along. Preferably someone who knows, you know, who knows the thing or two about having a personality. Jay's just basically... Uh... I want to say a self-insert, like, for people who, you know, like, this is Tom's way of putting, not himself, but, like, you know, giving LGBT people a chance to be in a relationship with John. And it, that's how I see it, but eh, we're not going to talk about that in this video too much. But should Clark have rejected John? And the answer to that is no, he, that's not who Clark is. That's not who he is morally, emotionally. Like, I don't see him, you know, tossing John aside and rejecting him for being bi or gay. Like, he's one of the most accepting heroes in the DC Universe. So I can't really imagine him just doing that to his own kid. And then, you know, being supportive of other people, but not his own flesh and blood. So it's like, kind of weird. That people thought this would be a good idea because they wanted more something out of this. Now, I can understand some of the reasons, but eh, you don't like, you know, the changes with other characters. Like, this is a very, very different subject. Now, <laughs> Sorry, still recovering, but comparing John to, let's say, Tim Drake. Now, Tim Drake, honestly, doesn't feel bisexual to me, because, you know, he's had many female lovers, but it's like, if he was into, you know, guys wouldn't have been hinted at, like, severely into, like, the comics. That he was like, you know, checking out all these other dudes. Changing someone like that to like, you know, being a bi icon, it doesn't really make any sense. But with a more recent character like John, it's like you can get away with adding something to their love life. Just don't make it this like pushy thing where it needs to like in general relationships really don't need to be pushy because forcing, you know, characters to be couples together it just eh, it doesn't really help it doesn't really help any matters it just makes things worse for like the character to be liked or enjoyed if you're really pushy with them but anyways guys yeah i don't really think clark should have rejected john yes in the comic he did accept him but it's like a lot of people think he should have been rejected and it doesn't really add up considering how Clark is in the comics. And just because he was raised in the Midwest with Christian parents doesn't necessarily mean he's always going to, you know, like the character is going to automatically be like this version or that version or like from this time. It's like, understand that there's more to these characters than just like who they are. Like, I hate when people are like, oh, you're religious, which means you can't like, you know, gay people or like LGBT people or, you know, this or that. And it's like, no, we, it's like, why put everyone into the same group? And I see this from even the ones who do speak about like, you know, why put them all into the same group? And then they group them with like the, they group people together. Like they tell people not to. And it's like, what the hell? Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. I know it wasn't, like, that big of a video, and I'm not pissed off about, you know, this kiss scene or whatever. I honestly don't care, because it's like, whatever, the series is over. I don't really care for Tom Taylor's Superman, Son of Kal-El. It's just a lot of people were like, 
asking me to do a video about this scene, and I really, eh. It's a loving father kissing his kid on the kid on the forehead. Not that big of a deal. Oh, but it needs to be manly. Eh, whatever. But anyways, guys, hopefully you subscribe to the channel and you guys comment down below what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. But yeah, moving on to the end of this. I hope you all have a nice and safe day. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay hydrated. I will see you all in another video. This is Dazzling Kate signing the heck out of here.